This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Uh, yeah, I, um, I, just for both of you, uh, Jaron Hall, what do you guys what do you guys see out of him, BYU quarterback? Can you go first? Yeah, I can. So from a D-line perspective, he's really a dynamic football player. He knows how to uh, he's really good at game management. He's quite dynamic. He knows how to run. He can sit in the pocket and throw. If we don't pressure him, he's able to uh, get out of the pocket and make something happen with his feet. So uh, just watching him and the O-line that they have, they're a pretty big O-line, you know, SEC size O-line, six seven, six eight, uh, across the board, six six. you know, over 300. So it's going to be a really uh, physical game for us, just especially trying to contain their quarterback, just to be able to keep him in the pocket, keep him from, you know, making plays. Uh, that he would otherwise be able to make. It's just going to be us getting them off his spot for the D-line, so to speak, and just trying to dominate the line of scrimmage from the get-go, from the very start. We've got to be able to start fast. Hudson? Yeah, I think um, we've seen he can he can run, he can throw. He's pretty accurate um, with the deep ball and on his intermediate and short routes. And so we've kind of been working on, um, like, scramble drill if he does get out of the pocket, staying with the receivers, you know, because they'll uh, – he can get out and extend the play that way. Hudson, how's it been for you working uh, at middle safety uh, after being a cornerback? I mean, obviously there's some more tackling responsibilities and stuff like that, but how has that transition been and what have you learned? You know, it's pretty, at first there's a little different view since you're in the middle of the field, but I kind of, uh, Coach Odom, Coach Bowman, they really, they really helped me um, get in the film room and kind of, see the play first there and then when it comes on the field it's easy and so I think that's kind of a big um, transition uh, that's helping me is the film room and so whenever we get in practice we get those repetitions it's uh, builds instincts. Thanks guys. Christina. For both of you guys just is there anything you've seen from BYU on film so far that makes them maybe different from SEC teams you're used to facing? Uh, from a D-line perspective, we're not really seeing too much difference. I mean, they have the SEC size offensive linemen. Uh, they run, you know, similar offensive schemes, game plan, blocking schemes and everything when it comes to just, you know, comparing them to other teams. They're really good with the uh, divide zone, the pullback, uh, any kind of pulling plays or anything like that. They have a pretty creative offensive coordinator. I'll say that for them as well. So just being able to... Um, you know, read our keys, be able to see where we need to go, play in our assignment to the best of our ability, playing fast, playing physical, and, you know, just trying to dominate the line of scrimmage. That's going to be our thing. I don't know about the back end versus uh, the front end, but I know with the O-line, uh, like I said, SEC-sized O-line, pretty big, and we just have to out-physical them. Yeah, and kind of similar, um, we're not we're not treating any different than an SEC team. They are fast, they're physical. Uh, the receivers, they catch mostly everything we've seen they they finish blocks and so um yeah they're they're a really good opponent about to face and then have your coaches or, or conditioning staff talked to you guys at all about the whole altitude thing and are they making you guys do anything in particular in practice to kind of prepare to prepare for that uh as far as altitude goes we're really just you know basically just hydrating a little bit more it's really i Comparatively, they say it's about 3,000 more feet above the surface than we are here right now. But from what I'm hearing, it's not going to be too much of a difference in the air pressure and everything up there. Hydrate a little bit more, you know. Once we get there, you're going to have Friday and force the game on Saturday to, you know, get accustomed to the air, try and run out a little bit if you can, get a little runs in. But other than that, you know, we're just going to treat it like any other game. Uh, it's not too much we can really do about the atmosphere there, you know. So it's just like we're just going to have to deal with it like we have to deal with anything else. Bob. Uh, hey, guys, this, this is for both players. Jordan, maybe you could take it first. But um, I don't know if you guys have, have ever been out there. I've, I've never been to BYU. But watching on TV, you got the mountains in the background. They got huge crowds. Looks like SEC-type stadium. Arkansas doesn't play out west very often. What, just how excited are you guys for a chance to go to a, a place uh, maybe Arkansas has never been before and play in a setting like that? You know, it's really exciting to be able to just go out there and play against a team that you see on paper that's like, one, we've never been anywhere. Uh, we've never been there to be able to play against them. We've never been. To, I've never been to Utah. You know, I've never actually seen the city. I've heard it's beautiful. I've heard the campus is beautiful, the mountains on the backside. Like, 
you're looking over the outside of uh, one of the stands and you just see the mountains in the background, like that'd be a dope picture to have, just you holding up a mountain or something, you know? So uh, just being able to be on the team that first goes there for Arkansas, just to be able to travel somewhere that I've never been, to be able to play a team that I've never played before. It's, you know, it's an honor and a privilege just to be able to play out there, uh, to have this game scheduled, to be able to go out there and play alongside my brothers. So it's going to be a, there, I feel like it's going to be a great vibe, honestly. Yeah, Hudson, you got, got a thought on that? Yeah. Um, I mean, Coach Pittman, he's been showing pictures uh, before every team meeting. And so, like, seeing the stadium, it's pretty uh, pretty awesome. And having it be a whiteout and their homecoming, I think it's going to be a great, great atmosphere for us to go into. And uh, it's just going to be an awesome experience. And for both guys, I know this, this losing streak's got to be tough, but uh, – and Jordan, I know you weren't here last year, but but you know Arkansas recovered from that. Kind of, kind of what's the team's mindset? And, and BYU, they're coming off a tough loss too. It seems kind of like both teams are trying to get get on track. Just what, what what's your all the team's mindset and feeling going out there for this? Honestly, our mindset. Oh, you want to tell? No, me? you got it. Yeah. Right. Honestly, our mindset is we're going into this week. We're treating it just like any other game. We're trying to go this week and win. Practice to the best of our abilities, practice playing fast, physical, flying around to the football, making sure our assignments are done well. You know, we're coming out and we just want to play this week, get back one and up. That's our mindset right now. That's our goal. That's our vision to be able to come out, start fast, play hard, play the way we know how to play. Uh, nobody's giving up. Nobody's over here. Oh, I'm just here for this. I'm just here for that. No, it's really uh, everybody's truly still bought into the program. Everybody still believes, you know, we have a chance. We have, we could really win out if we decided to go out there, put our minds to it, put our bodies to it, put the physicality to it. Um, so honestly, just being able to look around at a whole locker room that's still devoted to one team on Arkansas, you know, it was really a, something different because I'm coming from a place that it wasn't like that, you know? Yeah, Hudson, you, you got anything to add to that? Yeah, um, I think... We just got to go into every day preparing as much as we can. Um, every rep we get in practice has got to be uh, – we've been – we've taken it uh, in our own hands with accountability. We just got to – we're holding each other accountable more, um, running the ball in practice. And um, we're – we ha we got the corrections that we needed um, from this weekend, and we're we moved on to the next game. And it's, it's uh, focusing on getting back in the winning column. Thanks. Christina. Yeah, I've just got one more um, for Hudson. It seemed like in that game, you know, there were multiple really close uh, almost picks in that game. So just how have your coaches talked to you guys about that since then? And and how do you go about, you know, finishing those plays going forward? Yeah, we just got to um, make plays focusing on, I think we had four in the first half that we were close on and that could have gotten points off the board from them. And so we just got to focus on making the plays and and having that focus every single play for four quarters and um I mean we're working on ball drills more and and getting our hands on the ball so I think it's going to help us in the future thank you Bob did your hand come back up <laughs> yeah um, I, I know you guys are on you know put it up physically there to the little cartoon thing there too hey I know you guys are obviously on the other side of the ball but having KJ back at practice and it looks like he's probably going to be ready to start again just um what have you seen from him if you guys have gone good on good this week and just how, I mean, no, obviously Malik did a good job last week, but how good is it to obviously have your, your QB1 back? Uh, it's a nice feeling, you know, to be able to see the KJ get back in there and make strides, be able to throw the ball well. He's running well. He's doing, you know, he's playing really well. And then Malik also knowing he's still out there giving KJ competition. Both of them are fighting for the QB1 spot right now. It's just, you know, nice to know that we have two QBs that are really devoted to the team that are really willing to put it, put their all onto the field just to be able to, you know, lead their side of the ball to victory, trust, be able to play, know their assignments. Uh, honestly, it's um, it's great to have both of them back out there. Uh, and it's great to just be able to go against that level of competition every day, honestly. Yeah, and I think you can see if like people come back from that injury, uh, head injury, yeah. they play a little hesitant. And I mean, he's gotten back in there. He's making the throws. He's 
he's running the ball, and so I think it's going to be a, a big, big help and key for us. Football this is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. Bet Online, where the game starts.